You may have noticed sculpture dogs in capes around town, but what is their cause? SNN's Crystal Knowles speaks with a pack leader. Some may say it takes a village to raise a kid, but in this case, it takes a sponsor to help raise a southeastern guide dog. It cost about $50,000 to raise puppies like these and turn them into this. Each artist and sponsor get to choose what they want to do as far as the paint job goes, additions to the dog and things to make it, uh, give it, give their own message. With the help of Scott Joseph Moore, a Ringling College graduate and artist, Super Heroes on Parade campaign turned a blank white sculpture into a work of art. Organizations and nonprofits can get the word out there or public awareness. Southeastern guide dogs wanted a Labrador retriever to represent the campaign. Each sculpture featured traits of their most memorable guide dogs all combined into one to make one super dog. More than 50 dogs are on display all over Manatee and Sarasota County. We move them all about town, deliver them to the artists, deliver them to the unveilings that we've had four of them now. There's even a map showing all the locations you can spot them. Moore says it's exciting to see how a blank canvas, well in this case a blank dog, transforms. It's really cool just to see all the different takes on the one thing. He says bringing each dog to life is like being an alchemist. Whatever materials that you bring together, mold it into shapes, make it and it comes out to be a finished product like the dog. He's grateful to be a part of a campaign that helps so many. In Port Charlotte, Crystal Knowles. A match made in heaven. SNN Suncoast News Network. And you still have time to vote for your favorite superhero dog. Simply go to superheroes on parade dot, uh, dog, I should say. And don't forget, you can vote for our dog named Newshound. And as promised, there is Justin Mosley with Newshound right there.